a Salt Life family. We are back with another fish story. The fish we're gonna talk about today has some of the coolest camouflage you've ever seen. That fish is the Mahi Mahi. We call it a dolphin here in Florida, Dorado in Central America and Mexico, and it is one of the coolest fish, one of the best eating, hardest fighting, best game fish in all of Florida. Mahi Mahi are another incredibly fast growing fish that is a pelagic fish, meaning they travel. They don't stay in one place, they're always moving, and they just eat and eat and eat and eat and grow crazy fast. Dolphin fish will grow up to 20 pounds in a year. So that means that a 40 pound fish might only be a two and a half or three year old fish. Now the world record for these fish for spear fishing is 70 pounds and for fishing is 87 pounds. That's not even a very old fish as far as dolphin years go. Mahi Mahi are another fish that live all over the world. They have a massive range in warm waters. The only ocean they don't live in is the Arctic. They're in the Indian Ocean, North and South Pacific Oceans, Atlantic Ocean. The majority of the time you find these fish, they're on the surface, covering ground around a piece of weeds or floating debris where there's already a little ecosystem that they can come and eat the fish. The best way to fish for mahi-mahi is usually to troll. You have lures, baits, a spread of lines out, usually four to six lines, and you're covering ground, trying to stay around the structures that you see, like the floating seaweed, sargassum, kelp patties in California, and as you troll past, you'll see these blue, green, and gold fish come zipping out and hit the lines. One of the great things about these guys is they're very curious and they like to stay around each other. So when you hook one, you can leave that one on, bring him in a little bit closer and start chumming and putting other bait in the water and all the other ones will stay. So it's not uncommon to hook one fish and be able to catch five or 10 or even 20, depending on where you are in the world. The biggest of Mahi Mahi are usually in pairs or singles. One of the other cool things about these fish is the male and female actually look different. A female will have a very curved head and kind of a, a tapered body behind that, and a male will have a straight, blunt head and then a tapered body. Both these fish have the same colorations, but the males can get much, much bigger, and that big head is such a cool sight as they come rushing through the water and their tail is zipping on the surface and their head is you know, corralling with the, uh, the dorsal fin out to kind of make themselves look big to make the, uh, the bait stay in one spot so they can grab it. Currently, there's no season for mahi-mahi as far as regulations on catching them, but there are better times of the year to fish for mahi. In California, the water needs to be pretty warm. Generally, mahi don't start showing up until the water is 69, 70 degrees and they get around the kelp patties as the water gets warmer. So later in the year in California, when the water is in the 70s, that's prime time to find them on the kelp patties. And this past season was one of the best in history for mahi in California. Everybody was sick of catching them. There was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them everywhere, and everybody had a blast catching them. In Florida, we have a good run of them starting usually in spring, and those fish come from down south, they come up through the Keys and keep going up the coast as the water gets warmer. To fish for these guys, generally you need to be out in the blue water, so off the drop off in 80 to thousands and thousands of feet of water, and you're looking for anything different, a weed line, a rip, a temperature change, anything floating, and as you get close to it, you can either troll past it, cast live baits, cast artificials, Mahi are one of the most accommodating fish out there as a game fish. How can you eat dolphin? Well, no, it's not dolphin. If you see dolphin on the menu, it is one of the best eating fish. It's very versatile, fried, blackened, fish tacos. It is such a good fish. Whatever name it says on the menu, they are amazing to eat. One of my favorite ways to have them is blackened fish tacos with a little bit of mango salsa. Man, these things are so good. Cleaning this fish, they're really unique in that you can almost peel the skin off. You just cut the edge of the filet off 
and you peel the, all the skin off and then you've got a beautiful filet. Cut that filet off. They're really an awesome fish for eating fresh that day or even freezing for long term to eat later on. Hope you guys loved our fish story today. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to hear more about these fish, subscribe and stay tuned. I'm Cameron Kirkconnell and this is Salt Life.